Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the video. I'm going to share with you things that I learned during my first year of university. So I'll give you any advice and things that I think are useful for you to know. Let's get right into the video. So everyone's school will be a little bit different and there are some things that will vary, but this is good advice for anybody to hear. In university, you can usually take elective classes and if you already know what your major is going to be, become aware of what classes you need to take and try to get them out of the way as soon as you can. There's no real nicer way to say that. So what this will do is it'll give you options because most schools have the opportunity for you to study abroad if that's something you'd be interested in. I feel like most people have a country that they would like to go to for one reason or another. You can get scholarships too, which will help pay for the tuition of doing that and also help cover your living expenses, so getting good grades will definitely help. Generally speaking, first year courses are a lot more general than upper year classes and they're actually considerably easier too. So. It would be highly recommended if you try to get good grades. <laughs> so if you do that, it'll give you 10 more classes or 12 more classes or whatever with a potential for getting a higher GPA. And with that average, you'll be able to get more scholarships more easily later on, which will help cover the expenses of school, especially considering it's pretty expensive depending on where you are. Also having higher grades, it might make you appear to be a student who cares. And if you speak to the professor in that class, then you can get like a letter of recommendation from them, which can help you do things like go study abroad or get into a harder to get into class because some classes will actually require you to have a written letter from a professor saying you can do it. It can also help you get jobs later if they ask for references, or if you want to do a master degree, then you'll need references from someone to help you get in. So doing well, even in just your first year, is a very good thing to do. It's a good idea for where if you have a major point of interest or you already know what you're going to do, again, just get those classes out of the way as you can as fast as you can because it just gives you more options. What you can do as well is try to take a diverse range of subjects for electives so that you can try to open up as many doors as possible later on. For example, if you take like a psychology class, an English class, a math class, and a science class, depending on where you are, if you just have a credit in each of these classes, it could help you get into teacher's college later, something like that. So. Look into your school's list of programs, minors, and certificates, and like actually like read through it and see what's interesting, and see what you can do to open as many options for you as you like. So also, if a class is fun, just take it, or if you think it'll be helpful for you, just take it. But it would definitely be a good idea to look through the majors and minors and certificates, because if you find one interesting and you think you're going to take these classes already, then you may as well just kind of work towards something else as well at the same time. What you major in, it's popular for people to say it doesn't really matter that much as long as you have experience. Again, it depends, like if you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, etc., historian, any of that. But having an extra minor or a certificate probably won't hurt you. And for example, if you had a minor in a subject, you might have an easier time getting into a master degree in that subject. Or if you double majored in a subject, you might have an easier time transitioning into a master degree in either of those subjects. So there's a lot of pros and cons to think about, and it's definitely something that you should try to figure out in your first year, especially if you don't have a clear goal. But even if you do, it's still worth considering what else you can earn because most schools require you to take electives anyway. So you can look and see what your options are. And when it comes to like money, so getting good grades will help you get scholarships, which could actually even end up having you be paid to go to school. And depending on where you are, I'm in Canada. So for example, 
you should always apply for student loans even if you don't use it because you might get something called a bursary which is basically it's something that can turn back into a loan if you drop out of school or for whatever reason just like read all the fine print and make sure you understand it but for example my tuition for the first year was like seven thousand dollars but with my bursary i'm only paying about three thousand of those dollars so it's not that bad actually so it's definitely something that you should look into like just apply for it see if you get bursaries and hope for the best even if you could afford to just pay for it or even if you can't it's a good idea to apply and see if you can get bursaries which can help lower the tuition it's also a good idea to join clubs at your school so that you can meet people make friends like clubs are a great place to do this because It'll, if it's in a club about a specific interest or specific topic, then it's likely that people at that club are also interested in the thing that you're interested in. So you can meet people who have similar interests to you, and hopefully they also want to do well in school, and maybe you have the same major. So it's a good way to meet people, you can become friends, and you can help, help each other study. But pretty much just to give a quick recap, it's good if you apply for student loans if you live in Canada. I don't know where, what it's like in other places, but here you can get a bursary, which can lower the overall amount you pay for school. It's pretty much free money as long as you follow the rules and you do it properly. So just look into that. It's something that can help you. So look into the rules and make sure you understand it properly and fully. Make an effort to do well in school because if you just do the bare minimum in your first year one you may have a hard time actually getting into your program of choice because the way it works is you're usually admitted to a specific focus but it's kind of general you're not like guaranteed in your program yet depending on the school so you do need somewhat feasible grades to get in and if it's a competitive program you might need really high grades to actually get in and also higher grades would mean a higher gpa which can one look good on a resume like it probably wouldn't hurt to graduate with a little extra title just saying you did well in school like it's not like the biggest deal in the world probably but it's definitely not going to hurt and it can make it easier to do further education later if you change what you want to do later. It's a good idea to just give yourself options. And having higher grades overall will just help you get scholarships, which can help you pay the remaining balance of your tuition or even make it for where you're earning money to study. So this is something that you should focus on doing. That's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. See you next time. Bye bye.